Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Cease, representing the Silver Nagel Realty Team and Keller Williams. Welcome to our new video series around the real estate water cooler, where we'll be talking about uh, everyday real estate concerns, our experience with offers, and real things that all of our buyers and sellers should be aware of. We've dubbed our first episode, mm -hmm. Getting Into Hot Water. Yeah, interesting enough, one of our current conversations we're having is about the rental items that are included in your agreement of purchase and sale, and one of the most common ones is the hot water tank. Yeah. Now, if it's a rental, it means it's not a chattel. The seller can't leave it behind for you, and the rental clause in the agreement says that the buyer agrees to assume the existing rental lease. This was never a cause for concern before, as all hot water tanks were rented from the same utility company at the same cost and same terms and also is billed to you monthly, on a month-to-month -month basis, and it just showed up on your, your regular energy bill. Absolutely. Uh, what's interesting now, with all the new <coughs> energy suppliers that are in the marketplace that are offering different rental agreements on their leases, what you may find is you end up with a lease that you might not be too happy with. You know, the term may last longer than you were anticipating, the cost might be a little bit higher, yeah. and uh, there could be a cancellation fee to get out, and which simply could just be a nuisance if you're planning on purchasing a new hot water tank, or if you wanted to change carriers. Yeah, this is simply just uh, food for thought, as it's not usually a major concern. It'd just be a really good idea to find out the lease terms and lease um, agreements for all uh, rental items that you'd be taking over prior to preparing your offer. Yeah, that way you can make any adjustments that you might need to, and, and you're aware of what's going on. It would also apply to your security, uh, home security systems as well. You know, we'd love to hear from any of you out there that have had this kind of experience before. And for the agents that are tuning in, you know, have you run across this in your marketplace? And uh, what did you do and what was the outcome? Yeah. We want to make our series around the real estate water cooler beneficial to everyone. So to make sure you see our next episode, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash myrealtyteam. Once again, I'm Cease. And I'm Dylan. Saying see the silver nickels for all your real estate needs.